Hello, I'm going to make this quick video for you guys to review the light reactions or the light dependent phase of photosynthesis. So, uh, starts off with the sun here, which is going to hit the plant. It's going to be absorbed by the chlorophyll that's in the thylakoid membranes of the chloroplast. So we'll put sun here, or radiant energy, so that's going to again be absorbed by the chlorophyll, and those are in the thylakoid membranes, that's where this is happening at, and that energy causes electrons to jump up into higher energy states, and as they go and fall down in their energy level, or go through the energy gradient, they give off the energy and some of that energy is used to make ATP. It's shown here, so it converts ADP to ATP. So the energy from these electrons ends up here in this ATP molecule. Also, this is where water is used by the plant. So there's a water molecule enters the plant or, you know, through the roots, gets transported to the chloroplast, and that gets split into hydrogen here. That hydrogen is from the water, it was in the water at one time. And then, so that gets split, and part of the water molecule the oxygen part is going to be converted to oxygen gas at that point. So that may be released by the plant there uh, through the, the leaf. And the other things that are going to be formed at that point is the NADPH, which is where that hydrogen ends up at. And this is an energy carrier also so this has some energy and this has some energy and the energy in those came from this energy in the sun so the things that are going to be important are the nadph and the atp those are going to go on to the dark reactions or the light independent phase of photosynthesis